dear students we are going to discuss about a uh, multiplexer ic uh, that is 74153 74153 ic uh, this particular uh, ic is having 2 4 is to 1 multiplexers it consists of a 2 4 is to 1 multiplexers okay and it is a 16 pin ic it is a 16 pin ic okay before uh, going through the data sheet of an 74153 ic let us have a understanding of a multiplexer a multiplexer is a combinational circuit uh, which is having many inputs and one output. So, 4 is to 1, 4 data inputs are there and one output. That is why multiplexer is also called as a many to one device. And here this is having two select lines. Two select lines are there S1 and S0. S1 is a MSB and S0 is LSB. Depending on the uh, select lines the data input will be transferred on the output for example if on the select line if the values are 0 0 then i0 will be transferred on the output that means your output will be i0 similarly if the combination is 0 1 then output will be i1 for 1 0 output will be i2 for 1 1 it will be i3 Okay, this is just a truth table of a 4 is to 1 multiplexer and E is nothing but here enable input. If enable input is 0, whatever may be the value of, whatever may be the value on the select line, your output will always be a 0. And it works when the enable input is equal to 1. Okay, now we will uh, understand the or verify the functionality of a multiplexer IC that is 74153 IC 74153 IC using a virtual trainer kit software that is DELD SIM uh, here there are various tabs are there like add you can add the IC you can remove the IC you can remove the connection and you can also uh, see the data sheets of the various ICs. Now, as we are going to discuss about uh, the 74153 IC, I will open the data sheet of that particular IC. Okay, so if you uh, see here, 74153, it is a dual 4 is to 1 multiplexer or it is also called as a data selector. Just you click on this one and show data sheet so here uh, in this particular data sheet uh, you just see the connection diagram of this particular ic you can uh, see that there are uh, 16 pins in that particular ic the first pin is it is nothing but a enable input and pin number two is a select input and from pin number three to six these are the data inputs and pin number 7 is a output and pin number 8 is a ground. Similarly, on this side, there is one more 4 is to 1 max that is from pin number 10 to pin number 13. Uh, these are the data inputs and pin number 9 is a output and uh, pin number 15 is the enable input for this uh, marks and uh, these two select lines the select lines that is pin number 14 and pin number 1 are common for both the multiplexers and uh, the this is a function table for this particular ic i see therefore here uh, pin number 2 is a msb and pin number uh, Pin number 14 is a LSB and accordingly you need to make the connections for the select line. Here C0 is nothing but the C0 is nothing but you can say take it as a I0 and uh, this will be activated when the select lines are having the inputs 0, 0. 
okay uh, let us uh, make the connections using the virtual trainer kit software okay now here uh, 7415 uh, 153 IC is uh, placed here. Okay, uh, just once again I'll uh, place an IC. Okay, you just add, you just click on add IC. Okay, select the IC. Uh, the functionality the the IC that we are going to select is 74153. Just click on add IC. See here you can see uh, pin number one to eight are activated and this is pin number 9, 10 and like this, this will be a pin number 16. Okay. So, while making the connection, it is important to have a knowledge of a, a pin diagram. Uh, we'll refer this pin diagram while making the connection. See, data sheet. Pin number 1 is nothing but a enable input. Pin number 1 is nothing but a enable input. So, what we'll do is, you just connect this here if you can see uh, you can connect up to 16 inputs this is the input section and this is the output section similarly you can connect 16 outputs at a time okay each ic base uh, is having 20 pins so you can connect a 20 pin ics over here and this is a point, a point for connecting vcc and this is a ground point okay now first what we'll do is uh, we will make the connection for the vcc and the ground okay you just go through the data sheet and uh, here pin number 8 is a ground now what i'll do is i will connect this pin number 8 to ground just click on pin number 8 and then on pin on the ground pin okay this connection has been made for the ground Okay, now here in the data sheet, uh, pin number 16 is a VCC. So, what you do, you just click on pin number 16. This is our pin number 16 and this is a VCC. Just click over here. Now, the connection for the VCC has been made. Once the ground and the VCC connections are made, now what you do, you make the connections for the enable input. Okay, enable input is what is a pin number? It is a pin number 1. Now, what I will do is pin number 1, I will connect here. Pin number 1. Okay, I will just connect to the input section. Okay, here if you can see, you can make it as 0 or 1 accordingly. Now, it is uh, 0. Enable value is 0 here. Okay, once you make the connection for enable input, what you do? Now, you make the connection for select select lines okay now select lines if you see uh, pin number 2 is a input b input b is nothing but a msb this is very important pin number 2 and pin number 4 14 uh, pin number 14 are the select lines now pin number 2 you make a connection for pin number 2 okay and pin number 14 see here pin number 8 this is pin number 9 10 11 12 13 14 this is pin number 14 you just make a connection here okay this is my msb that is a select input b and this is select input a now you make the connection for data inputs okay in the data sheet uh, the data inputs are pin number 3 to 6 okay but but pin number 6 is nothing but i0 pin number 6 is nothing but i0 now, how, how I will make the connection is pin number 6. So, what I will do is this is my, I will assume that this is my I0, I1, I2, I3. In this way, I will make the connection. So, pin number 6, I will connect here. This is my I0, this one, I0. And similarly, pin number 5 is nothing but I1. And uh, pin number 4 is nothing but i2 and pin number 3 is nothing but i1 okay so now i have made the connection for the data input now the remaining connection is what it is a output so output is nothing but a pin number 7 now you make the connection for pin number 7 this is pin number 7 you make the connection to the output section okay so we are all done with the connections we have made connection for data input we have made connection for 
the ground and the VCC, we have also made connections for the select input. Okay. Now, if you see the functional table in the data sheet, what is happening here is if the um, enable input is zero, then only the particular uh, input is transferred on the output. If it is high, then the output will be low. Okay. Now, what you do, you just uh, apply the power to the trainer kit and now if you see what I will do is I will make this enable input high. Okay, if the enable input is high, whatever may be the combination of the select input, it will be output will be always zero. See here output is, you just change the select input, your output is going to be low only. So, LED is not on here. Okay, now what you do, you just make enable as a zero now what you have applied here one one so one one means it is i3 see here one one means what i3 one one means i3 so here this one is i0 this one is i1 this is i2 and this is i3 so make this as one and now you can see your output is one okay similarly now if i'll change this to zero if I'll change this to 0, 0. Now this is my I0. This pin num, uh, input on the input section, this five, fifth number is nothing but my I0. So if I'll make this high, my output will be 1. Okay, similarly, uh, you can apply 0, 1 also. 0, 1 means I1. Okay, 0, 1 means I1. So I1 will be on. Similarly, for 1, 0, for 1, 0, it will be I2. Okay. Sorry. For 1, 0, it is Okay. So, this is what is uh, 0, 1. 0, 1 now. For 1, 0, for one zero okay for one zero it is one okay so this is how you can verify the functionality of an ic seven four one five three thank you